Hi, I'm Dave of DaveTheWineMerchant.com and in the next few minutes I'd like to give you some tips that will greatly enhance your appreciation of fine wine, especially red wine. You see, we drink red wines at room temperature in America. We've always heard that that's the right temperature for them. But in reality, that rule of thumb was set centuries ago, before central heating, when houses were made of stone, and, set, and uh, room temperature was about 60 to 65 degrees. Well, guess what? That's actually the ideal temperature for our red wines. We want a lighter red wine at about 60, and the bolder reds at about 65. And even if you don't have an expensive cellar to keep your wines at that temperature, I'll show you how to achieve that in just a few minutes with the equipment you have in your own kitchen. Come on, I'll show you how. So the first thing you need to do is to know the room temperature where you're storing your wine. For example, today our temperature is about 73, 74 degrees. Your wine will be on average four to five degrees below that. Now there are tons of devices and gimmicks that will tell you what the temperature of your wine is. This fits around there and eventually will tell you about what your wine is. This thing uh, is the old mercury thermometer. You pull the cork, you stick this down inside, and it actually takes the temperature of the wine, so I like it for that reason. But my favorite gimmick of all is the infrared thermometer, which you can get if you're a true wine geek and uh, is a lot of fun. But as you can see, it works in a nanosecond and tells me that my wine is 68.3 degrees, exactly four to five degrees below room temperature. So you don't need any of these things as long as you've got something to tell your room temperature and you can subtract five degrees from that. Now that's still a little bit warmer than I'd like to drink this wine. This is a big red wine. Alcohol is about 14%, uh, which is adequate. It's going to give some of that spice note. And if I had this at full room temperature, it would be like listening to music on constant loud or listening or sitting in a room that is all red. There would be no variation. There'd be no subtlety. So to pull those elements out, I want to chill this just a few degrees. And to get this down to 64, 65 degrees, I need it about five degrees cooler. So what I'm going to do is pop it in my refrigerator. Now your average refrigerator is 40 to 42 degrees, and that will lower the temperature of your room temperature wine one degree every five minutes. So if I want to lower this three degrees, 15 minutes. Four degrees, 20 minutes. You're good to go. Thanks. Okay, five minutes is up. Let's check our first temperature. Sixty-seven point three degrees. Okay, another five minutes has gone by. Let's see what we have now. So ten minutes into our project, we find our temperature has gone down to sixty-five point eight degrees. Not quite where we want it to be, but almost there. Let's go for another five minutes. Another five minutes is up. Let's see where we are. 64.0 degrees. So that I think is a pretty good temperature for drinking my red wine and I think I'm going to pop the cork now and not cool it anymore. So just keep in mind one degree every five minutes roughly and that your wine is five degrees below the room temperature and you'll be amazed at the difference and enjoyment that you get from every bottle of red wine. It's a great way to make an inexpensive bottle of wine seem like it's worth more than you paid for it. Cheers!